on, let's go. Like that. Everything working? Okay, there we go. Hang on, let me get right. Looks like everything's working. Hey yo, let's go! Welcome back to another daily stream of Final Fantasy XIV, aka Legend of the Lagger Dragon, Dawn Trail, episode Oh shit, I can put Dawn Trail in the in the in the title. Uh, Dawn Trail, oh, episode 17. I'm your host, Frank Legacy, your favorite galactic listener of life. If you couldn't tell, I've been a little busy. <laughs> Alright, sorry for not streaming yesterday, I lost track of time. Because, well, I got some freaking awesome gear right here. Not this gun blade, but it, it matches the gear set because I could die. Because uh, uh, the gun blade you get from the Vanguard, apparently you cannot die. Uh, it's not dieable, which sucks. Because look at look how cool this is! Oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, we're not going to be going as the Gunbreaker Rex. Even though this looks cool as fuck. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, it's, uh, if we progress during the story, but still. We're actually going to be going as Viper, because, well, that's what we've been going after the entirety of, uh, the, for the majority of, uh, of our, our trip here into Tural, and especially, what the fudge is this? Because, uh, as you can tell, I did a little bit of exploring, not this area right here, though, but, uh, yeah, what in the world is going on over here? So, anyways, let's speak with Aaron Road, because he has something to say. All right. Or Aragro. This... It doesn't make sense. The tower! Was it always there? No. No, definitely not. No, that wall over there. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get my There's a control in my mouth already. The material is not something we've used into all. It builds into what we saw in the game, the Golden City. For those, me for those mechanical soldiers. Such a massive structure couldn't possibly have been built in such a short time. No, it cannot. Then I am inclined to assume we've been transported to another location? Or perhaps. Well. Speculation will avail us not. We need to learn more before we can draw to conclusions. That would do up. Alright, let's look around then. Hello, I did. Um, yeah, again, sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I lost track of time because uh, 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 I was I was obsessed with getting the full Viper gear for the uh, this stream. Fortunately, that was not meant to be because I couldn't even get the, uh, I only got, I think, two items? Maybe three, I don't remember. I know, I know I got, um, I know I got, I got sets for the other classes, and I'm almost completed those, but I'm still missing a couple of stuff there. So, anyway, uh, what else? Oh, shit, this thing's gonna pack up with me. Alright, thank God. Alright. So yeah, that's what I've been doing uh, uh, that's what I was doing yesterday. I lost track of time and I didn't realize I was already too late to stream. So I apologize and that's why I'm streaming today. Alright. That looks like a train station, doesn't it? That must be just a landing station. That's where the passengers disembark. Then perhaps we'll find someone to talk to there. Let's go investigate. Alright then, might as well just teleport over there. Oh man, my eyes. Might be too bright in here. Alright, anyway. Alright, Carl, you got something to say? The Aetherite is a pretty early design. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's also something I noticed. Uh, uh, when we go to the next, this one over here, the Aetherite is completely different. Watch out, you'll see what I mean. It's like, I don't even think it looks like an Aetherite at all. Right. Hmm, pretty sure it doesn't get to line station. But the speed of it, I swear it was abandoned for year years ago. I'm not sure what to make of it. We should look around a bit more. 
Well, they should, because we let them in soon. Like, like, there you go. But, the falling into total de despair, almost as if it hasn't been used in decades. Oh, wait, you think, you know, alright, I think I have a theory. You think they were displaced in time? Like, and it feels like all this stuff feels like it hasn't been used in years. You think this entire area has been fast forwarded in like a time for like years or something? Because that would be a neat little trick. And, oh, oh, yeah, hang on. I forgot to get rid of my title. There we go. Alright, anyway. Oh, shit, what the? There we go. Okay. Shepherd old building. Building is rotting is a rotting husk. So certainly it has been many years since anyone lived here. You know, it's obviously not been the case, because obviously the trade should have passed through here, so what the hell happened? Alright. The tracks are heavily rusted. It would seem they have been tended to for they have been contended to for a long time. Hmm. That was very This is the um, this is the water tower for the trains, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. Got something to say? Amid the enormous alien structure, we have more um familiar sites like this in the station. All right. The turn bell. Inside a train turnbar, the, th um, the thick layers of rust suggest it hasn't been used in years. That's a killer. Speak with rusty mind. Well, there's like a dog there. Alright, that thing stays the same. Alright, anyway, whoa. Um. Okay, hey! Doesn't look friendly. Look at it, look at space. Alright. Alright, we'll climb up. Alright. Finished fucking around, have you? Let's gather everyone. Let's gather everyone then. I want you all to take a look at this. voice or not. It doesn't seem like it. It's one of the mechanical soldiers. Long since broken apparently. But I'd say it's probably confirmed that this is indeed the, the world of the main we're in. What about the rest of you? Did you learn anything? Oh, that this place hasn't been used in years. But all evidence suggests that this is Gasolani Station. I have no doubt we're in Gasolani, but I don't understand why these buildings are so run down. They were complete. They were complete barely a year ago. For new structures to deteriorate and enormous, an enormous one I want to appear in a flash. If I didn't know any better, I'd say time flows differently here. Oh God. Is such a thing even possible? I mean, considering what the... We have encountered this phenomenon before, as it so happens. I'm right than what I'm about to say it. <laughs> well, it may be difficult to believe, our world is but one of several. In some respects, they are familiar to one another, but in others, so heartily different. We call them reflections. But simply put it, the work between dimensions causes time to flow at d a different pace for each uh, um, from each world. While hours pass in one, years have in years have come and gone in another. But if this is Gasolani, then we should still be in the sword. The flow of time should be synchronized. Then something definitely just got to me. I'm not sure I follow. 
other part of the flight chain thing that I mentioned. So the own there says the way they have to land even it must be. The village is a little further along, right? Oh, he saw a concern. Anvil! Uh, oh, uh. Yes, yes, just a short distance, northwest. The red had an axe there. Rather than talk theories. It's always better to confirm for, um, things firsthand. Wait. M may I be of uh, assistance? Oh! It's, it's still functioning! It doesn't seem to be hot though. At least, perhaps, we should come there and um, ask it some questions. Can you tell us where you are from? Boy. Unable to confirm credentials. Please present citizen identification. Unable to confirm con uh, uh, credentials. C confirm. Confirm. Seems it's broken after all. Too strange, by half. Let's leave it be and get going. Hmm. Are those lightning rods? I think so. Would you accompany me for a moment? There's something I wish to investigate. Oh, that path led to nowhere. Alright. Come on, little iron froggy. Take me to victory! Alright. Where did I go? Oh, well, okay, wait, hang on. Oh my god, the music! That's a bully. Oh. That looks like I'm gonna have to jump out. Hey, uh -huh. What is it? Look, look there. The lightning appears to be drawn to the pole-shaped structure um, over yonder. The design suggests they cut on there's some manner of lightning rod. Let's take a closer look. All right, closer but not too close. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't fly yet. Ah. I need to find the four quest markers that are available here in order to fly. Cause I found all the eight for current. So I'm good on that front. Alright, go ahead. Alright, the material appears to be the same that is used in the mechanical surgery than the warship. The scope of inspection is a piece um, to bear a file, a fine etching. Very reminiscent of arcane runes. These, I suspect, are not merely decorative. I report to be used as harness lightning as a source of energy. What impressive technology! Oh right, because they don't use they don't use electric technology in the in, in Metro 14. Alright, I'll show the operation with the shoulder for a blessing. The dome doesn't appear to interfere with the link for Thanks for coming me. I'll head to the village upon the other. Alright. Oh, okay, I guess we gotta meet them there then. Alright, come along, I guess. Anyway, ah, so that's so that's probably lightning based energy. It's weird. We have always had like um electric electricity pistols, but we never actually used the actual energy itself in episode fourteen. How strange. Anyway, oh shit. What in the world? Oh shit. Hang on. Oh. Alright, I'm trying to fix my mic here, sorry about that. Oh god, I got a runny nose. Oh, there's another soldier right there. Oh, 
Oh, poor Ariel, man. My home. Oh, fuck. It's in ruins. But why? W what happened here? Oh, poor Ariel. This is the first time I actually hear him have a notion. I had a look in a few of the other houses, but they had clearly been abandoned. Damn it all. None of this makes sense. No, it does not. Excuse me. Are you looking for someone? Oh, oh there she is! The lady from before! Oh, the music. Alright. <laughs> I apologize for giving you a fright. However, I did have reason to keep to the shadows. Sriracha has told me a great deal about you. Oh, boy. Another Emmett Frog situation, isn't it? Sorocha. Greetings, and welcome to the realm of Alexandria. I am Sphine, the Queen of Reason. Oh, shit! Queen of Reason? Oh my god, you're not the Queen of Reason. Is there perhaps a. a King of yes, Resolve? If you mean to ask if there <laughs> is a King of Resolve, <laughs> Zorulja holds that title, and together do we reign. <laughs> you know what this means? This means that Code of the Queen. <laughs> Code of the Queen of, of Reason. <laughs> Then you're both behind the attack on Tulihola. Uh oh. Hold on a minute. And I doubt you're here to offer us a warm reception. Wait, no, you two. You have it all wrong. I am not come to fight. Zorulja rules alongside me, but that is a matter of expedience. In truth, we are at odds, he and I. It is at considerable risk to myself and my people that I come before you to beg your aid. I don't know. Our aid? I'll admit I cannot imagine King Zororja is king to share and share alike. But if what you say is true, you're still the queen. Indeed. But I was once the sole ruler of Alexandria. Until one day, he appeared, bent on conquest. In my weakness, I feared his power. So I persuaded him to forego violence and strike a bargain. I would remain queen, and he would receive technology that would empower him to achieve even loftier ambitions, along with the knowledge to use it. All this is good and all. I was explaining the what happened with the little Jeff. But could you at least show it? Please, the, the a black gamble, cycle to be sure. If it might spare my people. If I may, the dome surrounding these lands was erected but recently. How is it he was able to not only invade, but instate a new system of leadership in a mere matter of days? I 
never heard of your realm. And this place is, or at least was, Yasulan. The house I grew up in is still here. But three years ago, that tower and these strange contrivances were it. Nor was our village in ruins. Where did you come from? And what happened to the people who lived here? You must know. Ooh. Oh man, what is with this picture on her? She's not here I here, realize she's... how confusing this all must be. Truth be told, I don't fully understand it myself. What I can say is that one day, people from your Tuliolol suddenly appeared here in Alexandria. Or perhaps it was we who found ourselves in Tuliolo. Until but recently, we were completely unaware of events taking place beyond the barrier surrounding our realm. Oh, this is so confusing. This is definitely Final Fantasy. Does this not remind you of the Crystal Tower? Oh! After the Eighth Umbral Calamity, we devised a means to transport the Spire across time and space from the source unto the first. Granted, this is on a much larger scale, if that is indeed what has happened. Not only the people and structures, but also the surrounding environment. Regardless, the people of Lakeland perceived the arrival of the Crystal Tower much as the Queen describes her own experience. Sudden and inexplicable. Well yep. then, you appear to have a better grasp of our circumstances than we do. Indeed, more than I dared hope. In which case, a closer examination of the effects of this phenomenon may afford us more insights. Allow me to take you to the outskirts. A number of the Shatona live there as well. Perhaps your acquaintances are among them. Hold on. If we accept, there's no guarantee we're not walking into a trap. Fair enough, Alvy. But if we're to defeat Zorolja, we need to understand how he grew so strong. Besides... And I was worried about his mom. So we definitely gotta deal with that. Ah, oh, you're right. Queen Skin, before we go, Your Majesty, I have to ask, did you really have nothing to do with the attack on Tulikyolo? Noble Wook Lamart, shall we dispense with the formalities? I'll not deny the soldiers and airships that attacked your people are products of Alexandria. But it was Zoralja, not we, who fashioned them into weapons of war and laid siege to Tuliolo. So mm. he alone is to blame. No, I may not have prosecuted this war, but I nevertheless bear responsibility for it. Perhaps. I know next to nothing about him, let alone what you've been through. So by all means, show us around. I think we'll learn a lot from meeting your people. <sighs> Wonderful! If you would follow me! Alright. Cool. Alright, let's see. I take it there will be trouble if you want to see it this. It's a bit a little odd for the queen to be walking all on her lonesome. I think I'll go with that one. Says the warrior of life has been betrayed one too many times. <laughs> Is that concern or suspicion? Yes. If things should take a turn for the worse. Might I call upon your aid? <laughs> I do 
jest, of course. But you do strike me as the most capable here. I mean... Sure. I think it goes without saying. We're not going to trust her like like that, right? Uh, anyways, yeah, anyway you look at it, a mysterious girl who appeared in the with the same look of queen is suspicious. And here it is, guys, and here it is. Alright, I'm the calamity out of the case of the calamity out of the cut and and the code in bits. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Alright, we're the fabulous that we should be worried. We could use more information. So let us head to this place on the outskirts and see what we can learn. Perhaps about Fiel as well. Okay. Uh, so which way? Is it this way? I just wanna get to the Aether Co- Aether Co- Aether Co- Oh, not the Aether Co- Aether right already. Holy shit, look at this thing. Why do you guys think we found the- uh, From the Vanguard dungeon? Oh, there they are. Alright, team. Alright. I can't hear the, um, familiar farming with, um, farming facilities in Tudio and Tura. They're completely different from ours. I got no idea what all these machines do. We set out on this approach after some trial and error. The Turdial the Turdiali have their own list of the farming, which they wanted to continue employing. But the environment makes it a challenge. There's too much rain and not enough light. Thankfully, the, um, the use of an electric has allowed us to fortify the building here and as we uh, as well as um, uh, provide the nitro the nitro cannot. Electro what? Electro. It's the material we use um, for myriad devices and applications. A, ch um, a topic for another time, perhaps. If you will follow me, we're near, um, nearly to the outskirts. Alright. Ah, oh, you missed this one, guys. Yeah, I was wondering what in the world, because it's, um, because when I saw this, when I was traveling offline, like this entire town looks like it's been like, like sort of mixed in. Like look at this. Dude, like look, 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 look at all these little lines right here. And then these giant ass energy tubes, whatever these are. Oh. And like, oh, there you go. And it looks like. This lady has the same, same thing that kept the Roja alive. And uh, the dude in the main dungeon, uh, Bando, whatever his name is. It's like some kind of device that keeps them like alive, but according to Xander, he said, you don't have any idea how many souls we have wasted? So I'm, so I'm assuming a soul for a soul, and they're using the souls of the, of the people that they quote unquote kill to keep themselves alive. If they agree with the uh, whatever it is they want, if they agree to the rate uh, to the Roger's reign, I'm, I'm assuming. But anyway, I'll go go talk with them over here. A lot, and then this conversation between these two. Look, one of my friends was just assigned to the role of hunter. God, I wish it were me. If I only had talked with them, I wonder what exam they're talking about. And they also have a little thing on their head. I hope that actually becomes a part of the glamour. Like, maybe some accessories. Anyway. Oh. Wanna swing? Damn, the music. Here we are. Though you'll doubtless find much of what you see in Alexandria strange, the traditional agriculture practiced in this village at least should be familiar. 
definitely not the music. Oh man, this definitely sounds like an old Final Fantasy track. I don't know. I'm not too well on Final Fantasy lore from other games and stuff, so I don't know from which Final Fantasy this was. But anyways, let's continue. Like, I've never seen trees like that before. Queen Sphee? What business brings her here, I wonder? The Queen has come! Oh, Lord. Well. Everyone's taking notice. Well, Paquine. And Katonia, I see you've already taken to your new position. Well, she seems very popular. When she introduced herself as queen, I was expecting someone colder. Honestly, she reminds me of you, Lamachu. <laughs> I wonder if she's a reflection. <laughs> me? It's only natural for a ruler to love her people. And I should like to know them as best I can, even the most trifling details. The more you come to know them, the more you grow to love them. Who they are and what they've built. That's it. Beautifully put. Oh my god, I wish Sveen and Wukulamat interacted with Vana. Oh my god, that would be a trifecta right there. Ugh, anyway. And it would appear that she is well loved in turn. Oh, here comes trouble. Your Majesty. You honor us with your presence. Oh, he doesn't have a British accent. So he's definitely some sort of Chiriali or Shala Shaliani. And who are these fine people? Chiliolol's vow of resolve, Wuk Lamart, and her companions. They come from beyond the barrier, but you needn't worry. They are good people and are to be treated as my honored guests. But for how long? The rumors of a link to the outside are true, then. Luke Lamont is still so young. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? I am Popone, a leader of sorts of the people living out here. Popone? That is a ton of walk and to it. Right you are. I take it you hail from this region as well? Tespiani, perhaps? Yes, I do. I don't suppose you know a woman by the name of Kakiwa? Kakiwa? Hmm. I'm afraid I'm not sure if I've ever met someone with that name. He's lying, bro. He's lying. Mother isn't here. But it's a relief to know at least some of the people of Yasulani are alive and well. Your mother, you say? Now that you mention it, I do see the resemblance. Something about her doesn't seem natural. You know my mother? Her mannerism doesn't feel right, right? Am I going crazy? I do. Yes. Then tell me, please. Where is she? I cannot say. Not here, but I promise I will in due time. Uh, 
will say something to do about it, I guess. I have a question, Capone. Do you recall what happened the day the dome first appeared? Uh, the barrier? Well, um... I remember fixing a shelf that had collapsed after a terrible earthquake. Then the ground began to tremble. There was a brilliant flash of light. And then... Forgive me, my recollection of it all is rather poor. You needn't push yourself, Capone. After 30 years, no one could blame you for not... 30 years? Hold! So 30 years have passed in 30 here. years? As in 30 years in the past? Absurd though it may sound, there is no doubt in my mind the events that led to the joining of our lands occurred 30 years ago. <laughs> it happened like in a day, you guys! Which is not to say I understand why our perceptions of the intervening time are so radically different. We only just became aware of the discrepancy when Zoralja's military base was completed and we were at last able to venture beyond the barrier. Holy shit, there is way more questions than answers. I believed you long dead. To have the chance to kill you myself is an unforeseen blessing. Oh shit, even the Roger didn't know. So this is 30 years. Holy shit. Little wonder Zorolja assumed our father had already passed away. Damn. And I thought he was just saying now it's after not a how time passes differently in the first and the source. Oh my god. The fluctuating space of the rift between them disrupting temporal equivalence. We are definitely gonna go to the first and one of the next expansions for sure, and we're gonna see an adult reign. As a full-on gunbreaker, just like Thank, just like her dad, Thancred. And I better see them hug! And Gaia too, as well. Ooh, even old, even, uh, even an older, um, Lena. Oh my god. Oh shit, dude, like, how? Because I know it makes sense, the time flow differently, and the first and the fourth during Shadowbringers, the times were like, Sort of synchronized for a little time, but who knows after a while how unsynchronized it's gonna be. But we just have to wait and see. I mean, considering the win was uh, the same as the twins, I guarantee you by the time we get to that expansion where we go back to the first, we is gonna be older than the twins, which is gonna be sad and hilarious at the same time. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Like, I'm Perhaps the same holds true here, and time flowed faster within the dome. So, does that mean that time is passing faster now as we talk? Only we a piece of another reflection? Oh, here we go. Does it feel pa um, it's still passing faster? I was able to make contact with Yostola not long ago by Link Pearl, so that shouldn't be cause for concern. Okay. And based on the Queen's account, this encampment may have come to serve as a physical bridge between the two planes, after which the dome was forced into the source's temporal flow. Hmm. If we're to be certain of anything, we need more information. Sveen. Would it be all right if we had a look around and spoke with the townspeople? By all means. Hmm, Time to see what oh, we can see from Alexandria then. And its people. I may yet find familiar faces among the survivors from Yasulan. Even if I don't understand half of it, I would learn more of this place before we confront Zorolja. 
Okay. Perhaps you'd care to see how we make our living. Though we have always prided ourselves on the use of traditional Tonawatan farming methods, the use of electrofuel technologies has led to countless agricultural innovations. I would join you as well. Ma'am, please, you needn't trouble yourself. It's no trouble at all. And I promise not to cause any manner of distraction. Reassuring words, or they would be had I not heard them countless times before. <laughs> Very well, but do be careful. Of course. I shall proceed with the utmost care. Now then, if you two would follow me, we can begin the tour. I can't say that I trust her yet, but I trust that her affection for these people is genuine, and that's enough for me. I hope she'll actually come back. I'm all right. I'm feeling a lot human. She's not human, right? Like. She the robot, isn't she? Because the manner of them with the head tilt felt very robotic. Like it felt very unnatural. Like this is like how I, this is, like this is how a robot thinks a human would act. Anyway, electric uh, then so much to improve the efficiency of farming, but it hasn't replaced everything. People wanted to preserve their old way of life, and we did not want to force out to put it upon them. We want such length, want to such length for our culture to co that could coexist, even going as far to learn our tongue. I'm sure everyone appreciated that. Communication was thankful, uh, thankfully not an issue for the city of our tongue is uh, the closing in somewhat to Alexandrian. And of course, there are words and phrases of uh, which there is no equivalent, but that can be that can be taught for minimal effort. Their mutual respect, understanding, and patience, we Alexander and the Tudiari have learned a great deal from one another. I'm sure there is much you wish to learn as well, but please, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. Alright, then. Alright, rather than bore you with a lengthy explanation, let us head back to the farm uh, we talked earlier. Yuppie Halo is, um, um, UUP's handler is called. We can speak with one on the phone more than we are Okay. Alright, get me up then. Alright, hey, Dark Mare. Nightmare. Sausage use. Anyway. Okay, let's uh, speak over here. Yeah, hopefully we can get to the next Aether Current. Aether Light, I mean. Uh, where is he at? Where? Ah, there we are! <laughs> Alright. Allow me to introduce to Maga um, Usa, one of the most experienced farmhands in Alex Alexandria. She is well versed in a myriad of farming techniques. Indeed, wealthy of uh, knowledge she has shared from the farmers that allowed her to, to flourish. Since being, what to what do we owe this coming show of praise? I apologize for the interruption. I come to a uh, guess up and beyond the barrier. I wish to learn about Alexandria, but I'm ready to see how her crops are grown, and I do hope that um that's alright. So the rumors of visitors from the outside world were true. What manner of hope um would we be if we did not allow to look around? I gather your majesty is intended to check things out he check things out here. Oh, yeah. You know me to uh, Ma uh, Mawasa. I thought to see the opportunity to see how the farmers fare and perhaps pepper them with a few questions through. I do and still enjoy observing and taking care of, um, taking part in the work of two. So it would appear we have our uh, permission. So please, walk the ground to your heart's content. Right. You go on ahead. 
I'll keep Steam company. I don't know if I understand. I'm not just with Chris's side. But given our position, it would make sense for us to go around together. What you say? Fair yeah. point. But be sure not to let me out of your sight. Alright, I shall remain on. Uh, remain under a book will not be Let's try. Pray come and find out after you've seen your soul and spoken with our fine hand. There we go. Oh, what are the other oh my god, look at these gates, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, this could make some awesome ring ropes. For like a ring inside the inside one of your houses. I think I pass out for, for a ring. Anyway. Uh, where to? Oh. Do the right thing over here. Right on. Hey, Elias. Okay. There was a pure to be fine. As, um, as for the parasite. Hmm. We should know about my job. I sent to the field. Mentally watering the crops and keeping the parasite and so on. It frequently took some time until I fully understood how best to carry out my duties. And, um, I also managed the land we use in the field. And we do our best to keep everything up to code, but should they ever start um, to our fortune, it's up to me to fix them. The land and sky, uh, being what they are, a showing of which and how this makes for something like that. Honestly, I enjoy how involved the process is. Both my friends, um, being Alexandrian, I didn't grow up knowing much of anything about farming. Every day is an opportunity to learn and grow. Uh, good for you, buddy. But we're wasting time here. Alright, Hank. Alright, oh, and it's a really face. I guess that is the first time on site then. Indeed it is. Alright, well, from the storehouse, or rather the entrance, the real storehouse is underground. Much more uh, um, spacious and equipped with the temperature regulation system to keep the harvest from spoiling. Since the entrance is uh, so small, it's much easier to prevent wild bees from wandering inside, which also makes it uh, uh, viable for facilities for breeding and raising it livestock. We even got a few beds down there for emergencies. It turns out to contain uh, uh, Alexandrian technology and electrotropes to um, compli uh, complicate our lives, but it's just a matter of learning how things work. Take my job, for instance. I, I presumably oversee the storage of harvested crops. They're taken up, um, they are, they'll be taken up to the tower for processing, and from there find their way to every dining table in Alexandria. The work is hard, I will not deny it, but it takes great I take great satisfaction to do it. Alright. One more. Ugh. Man, they really are spacing this out a lot. Alright, and wait. Wait. They're saying you're one of the brothers from beyond the barrier? Is that true? True as it ever gonna be. If so, it means we're connected to the other world again. And not that I have a desire to leave, mind you, but I'm quite content with life here in Alexandria. But setting that aside, you're the, um, your future drove our work, right? As you can see, I'm in charge of livestock. Doing every, uh, blah blah blah, can need to get back, take and continue to blah blah blah. Okay. Good lord. Uh, should just fast forward these cut lines, especially because it looks like uh, there's an aether current, not aether current, aether right, that we can get. Alright, where to? Alright, where's Steam? Steam? Steam! Oh, there you are. What the hell are these? Alright. I see. Don't be too hard on yourself. Everyone would have been hard pressed to deal with such a thing. Welcome back. My apologies for failing to mend your return. I gather you had your fill of the farmers, but I'm not the church of my, uh, my worth at. Yeah. Please give me a quick green quest marker. Damn it! Cut. It's a cut thing. 
<sighs> Alright, well, and you, what are your impressions of the farm? Everything seems but the purple level. It made, made everyone love their work. Hmm. Uh, I don't really care. Uh, let's go with the next one. See if there's any love we can get. But we want more lectures to come by. It's only natural, I suppose. If you come to my place without it. Still, you only seem mildly impressed. Which leads me to believe. Well, no, I'm lying detected right there. But still, it would lead me to believe you have experience with more marvelous technology. I'd love to hear your tales one day. Lady, you don't know the half of the shit I've seen. <laughs> and what did you think of our little. Um, of our tour, Lamachi? Huh? I already call you Lamachi. <laughs> what did you call me? Well, that um, inappropriate, my apologies. I heard the others call you that. That name, and I thought. No, no, it's fine. As you said before, we have no need for titles or formalities. <laughs> and it's like basically calling her cousin or sister. Oh god, now that we're. Now that, I, now that I'm seen, uh. Officially, now it's kind of weird that people are shipping this to if, they're, if that is what they're meant to be. It is kind of weird now. Oh god, okay, I just made it weird. All right, let's keep going. As for my thoughts, I'm very impressed that machines could be used for overcoming such harsh environments. They're amazing, I've never seen anything like this. So we go on with this. All right, feeling on the feeling is indestructible indeed. Many still find the machinery behind me on me baffling. Holy shit, look at that thing. Right, it's a system that controls and distributes water from the field and life cycle and has been acting up lately though. Acting up lately, you say? You need not worry, my queen. It happens fairly often. Very simply, it's taken in, in water that had a strong lightning charge. You think some creature may have um, may have become charged up with the energy and they're releasing it into the river as we use it as a source. The system could um, would on would return to normal if the creatures were dealt with, but I am reluctant to break for the army. Well, doesn't look like a job for you and me, Rook Lamont. You can take care of it if you like. That is the most gracious of you to offer, but it's still too dangerous. Oh, it's no trouble for the vows and vows are truly all out. Regardless of how our relationship between our nations may develop, if there are people in need, I want to help. Simple as that. Rex is even stronger than I am. I am. She doesn't take us that uh, long at all. I mean, when they just say it, but they don't actually let me show it in this expansion. It would have been cool to see. Very well then, I go for it except. Please take care. Alright, so that a go factor if you and I start the lightning charge state themed alarm. Good hunting. Alright. Alright, let me Let's go hunting. Oh, these things. Oh, where'd we go? Hang on, let me get Choco out.
Of course I can't jump over there. Oh, come on. Oh, thank God. All right, I've got to talk to Steve. Oh, my God. oh, come on. They need to get close. Come on. I really want these next ones to get real fast. Really want to get to the... Oh, shit. It is the moon tonight. Fuck. I was I really want to get... Oh. Hurry up. Hurry up. You're both right, um, both are right, thank goodness. You really need not worry too much. We barely broke a thread dealing to both beams. They're all gone now. Of course I was worried. You are my dear guest, but, uh, uh, but thank you. We truly appreciate this. Indeed, with this, we won't have a um, chance to roll those machines for help. Oh, they really don't want to ask for for help. We've been making, a. Uh, Considerate effort to break up his forces, fearing but affection for the people's protection. He thinks nothing of our safety. He might queen steam. That, that's enough, me, um, uh, Mawatha. If you have grievances, I will hear them later, but speak of the king not, um, now. She's right. He's never been one to look up for his people. Anyways, thank you for letting our tour of the farm. The folks are a uh, delight, and it was a pleasure to meet you, meet them. You couldn't uh, favor us with the uh, uplifting words. My people are my pride and joy. I've never failed to let us know, know how much you care. Of course, you're my precious family, after all. Alright. You don't like the good th th thing, but I'll admit. You'll forgive me if I'm not ready to lower my guard for the enemy queen just yet. <laughs> for you to be called that, I dread to imagine what villainy your majesty has committed. Come now, this is no laughing matter. The ruler, a ruler is responsible for the welfare of countless lives, and one Wrong decision can lead to untold suffering. Failure is unconsiderable. Hmm. Alright, now, I believe we are done farming. Let's move on, shall we? Okay, good. Alright. Alright, boom. On the cloud. Hey, speaking of the cloud, is it a digital cloud? Alright, perhaps we should head back to the upgrade. I guess your friends are ready to return by now. No thanks. Again, we're dealing with the queen. Come and visit us any time. Well, alright then. Oh, Petro. Alright, line up! Use the rope. Use the bridge like a. Use the. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna say. All right. You hear that? Hear what? Oh, what's going on over here? What's happening over there? I don't know. It's nearly time. 
Time for what? Oh, so I just needed to work changed. That can't be good. Let's take it out. Oh god, I know what the on the cloud means now. I think I'm putting two and two together. I'm glad you could make it. A somber music. I definitely put my point right. Correct. Are you with us? Queen Sphine has come to see you. Oops. Hey, Namika. Everything is going to be all right. Oh, shit. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Oh, shit! Oh, oh. What's the matter, dear? Yep, she's gonna realize. It can't be. She That's the bangle I gave to Namika. She's realizing it. She's re <sighs> Okay, it's been 30 years. Look how old she is, and it's been 30 years. How is she? And what's. <sighs> you know her. Of course I know her. She was like a mother to me. I see. She was always willing to lend a kindly ear to others, but rarely did she ever speak of herself. What's wrong with her, though? Is it... Is it really you? She must have arrived shortly before the barrier manifested. For us, it was perhaps days, but for her... Years. Namika, it's me! Wuklamat! I'm afraid her time with us is nearly at an end. Oh. Has she no more soul cells? Soul cells? She always used hers sparingly, but at her age, it wouldn't make a difference. Ma'am, the ushers have arrived. Thank you, Namika, for your many years of friendship. Take comfort in the knowledge that this is not the end. Be not afraid. Your memory will live on in us. Living on in memory? The giants share a similar belief. Wait, where are you taking her? Worry not. She is being escorted to a medical facility in the tower. There, we will ease her burden. I had hoped to make arrangements for her sooner, but she wished to remain here for as long as possible. I could not bring myself to refuse her.
Is there any way I might stay with her for a little while longer? We may not share the same blood, but she was my mother. Peace. Let us give them some time alone. She didn't speak, but I'm grateful that I could be with her at the end. Thank you. Damn. With her dad now, her adopted mom? Holy shit, she really is a shooting protagonist. It's not the end. Yep. Hmm? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that we have much to discuss. Where shall we begin? With what we can be reasonably certain of, perhaps. Between what we have witnessed and the testimony of Alexandria's inhabitants, it's safe to say that two distinct lands have indeed become one. What's more, having met Namika, there is no denying the divergence in the passage of time. Taken together, these phenomena strongly suggest that some manner of cross-rift displacement has occurred. Specifically, the displacement of Alexandria from another reflection to the source. It does seem the most likely explanation. Yep. Can you imagine if that would have happened in real life? What perplexes me, however, is the scale of said displacement. It far exceeds what could conceivably be achieved with a void gate, or even with the crystal tower. In essence, we are dealing with a localized instance of dimensional compression. The Asians would no doubt liken it to a rejoining. Oh. Which invites the question, how was such a feat accomplished? I wish that I had an answer for you, but this talk of reflections and dimensions is well beyond my understanding. I can only tell you that we lived peacefully under the barrier's protection for many, many years. Until the day that peace was suddenly broken. If I may clarify, the barrier predates Alexandria's displacement. By several hundred years, yes. To when the continent we call home was ravaged by a devastating cataclysm. The barrier was erected to isolate us from the surrounding land's innocuous influence. Oh wow, that sounds very similar to the Flood of Light in the first. I see. And it was only later that it was whisked away, along with its contents by means unknown. In other words, seems as lost as the rest of us, right? The Alexandrians didn't mean to end up in Tural. Ah, but of course, our next stop ought to be Everkeep. That tower over yonder. Once you have been registered as my guests, you will have access to Solution 9 and its residential mm. district, where you will doubtless gain invaluable insight into Alexandria's state of affairs. 
Unfortunately, I cannot take you directly to where Zoralja resides. That you'd let us in it all goes a long way toward proving you're not content to let Zoralja do as he pleases. But we're not talking about a simple difference of opinion here. I've come to avenge my father. And to do so, I intend to take Zoralja's life. Are you willing to stand by and allow Alexandria's king to be slain? A fair question. Permit me to answer it thus. My people come first. Their welfare is paramount. I will do everything in my power to keep them from harm. It is a rule of duty. Now, I am off to register you at Everkeep. It may take some time, but you shall find the entrance open to you in due course. Oh, and ere I forget, your mother, Kafkiwa, might try the Thunder Yards to the east. The Thunder Yards? Is that where she is? I'm afraid I can say no more than that. Make for the Thunder Yards and all will be made clear. It's not as if we have other pressing business. Not until we can get into this Everkeep, anyway. Thank you for earlier. And for being a friend to Namika these past 30 years. It means a lot to me. Namika? <gasps> I'm sorry. But I don't know who you mean. Bro. Oh, shit, that's what that was. Oh, yep, now we're time to see the dark secret. Mm. This is crazy. We were just with her. If this is some sort of a joke, it isn't funny. I don't mean to give offense, but I honestly have no idea who you are talking about. I'm sorry. How can you not know who she is? You're in charge here. She was under your care. Then in all likelihood, my memories of her have been stored in the cloud. Oh! That's what that device did. It took the memories. Any person seemingly forgotten without reason is probably there. In the cloud. Oh, I really must be getting back to work. If you'll excuse me. So it goes back to the cloud, doesn't it? God damn. Alright, what's going on? How could Peon, Peon, suddenly forget what, uh, about Namika? As if she never, as if he never knew her. Did the same thing have happened to the others as well, I wonder? There's only one way to find out. Let's go with this again. That's what I mean by on the cloud. Oh, wait, so we basically like saved her memories. 
Her memories, and their memories of her on the cloud, it would, and they're basically like their version of heaven. Oh, interesting. Interesting little doctor. That woman named Amika? I'm afraid I don't know that person. Sorry. Okay. Alright. There you are. Alright. Oh, what's this? Do I know Marika? I've never met anyone anyone by that name. I wouldn't know. I've worked in the outskirts for a good while now. If she'd um if she'd spent her time here, I wouldn't remember. Oh shit, none of them remember. I'm gonna go finish this up. Caregiving care weapon. Hmm. I didn't recall caring for someone until recently. Can you say it was this woman named Namika? Well, I can't say for certain if it was her. I wouldn't worry. I'm sure she'd just been taken up, um, up to the cloud. Oh, okay. Now I think that. Now I'm starting to understand it fully. And I think I might be right. Her memories of Namika and Namika's memories have been stored in the cloud of sorts. Her body probably probably been disposed of, I'm assuming. But as long as her memories are still intact, I think she might be still alive. But anyway. couple of quest lines left. Hmm. So it was the same for everyone. Now a single person remembers the Mika. It was as the memory of her has been purged from their mind. While such a thing might, um, might be done with magic, to alter the memories um, of so many at once would be a tremendous undertaking. He could have felt the surge of Aether corresponding to the act, too. I sense none of that in the moment. Neither did I. But I did notice something right before Pyramid suddenly forgot. A light of the, on the device in his head began to blink. Could that be a connection? Someone um, also said something about Soul Cell. But who, but who might we ask about this? If we continued making such inquiries, I expect um, would only cause confusion. Indeed. If we can't readily solve the mystery about Namika, perhaps we should um, search for Kafkiwa Kafkiwa instead. Steam said to try the Thunder Yard. It should be in this direction. Oh, oh what the hell? What is that little thing? Impossible! Unidentified floating object. A UFO. Hmm. Another kind of mechanical soldier? It looks dangerous. We better destroy it! Ah! Should we give chase? I think I understood, um, I think it understood our word. It might be worth uh, asking it some questions. And then, are you alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. It's nothing. I'm fine. Well, I went up to the direction we already headed anyway, so let's try to check it down. Okay, that way. Wait. <sighs> Just gonna waste more time. 
<sighs> Maybe if I hop over go faster. Probably not, but it'll live in L in L3 constant quick. Yeah, that can't be good. There it is. After it. We found it. Yeah, but it's headed off to that direction. To the northeast. It must be bounded to for the moon. Come on, then. It could well be a trap, so let us not rush too quickly. Oops, that was very on. We're almost done here. I don't know. Alright, I hear a faint voice coming from inside. But it's not alone. But we're still gonna go in, of course. This may be a trap, so be ready for a fight, everyone. Yep. Oh, hang on. Uh, be right back.
Bata. Okay. All right, sorry about that. Now we're building out to take care of. Anyway, uh, we'll be able to get this done. I can hear them, several people up ahead. Hmm, can't make up the condition with the echoing. Let's keep going, there we go. Oh shit, this is like a secret base to me if I ever saw them. It'll be related to the walking sand, would it? <laughs> I would have felt funny to me. I just have to get a look at you and lie. I can still hardly believe my eyes. But it is you, my darling Elamisphere. Elamisphere. Okay, that's what you're pronouncing. <laughs> oh my god. My darling, what now? Man, I get no fighting. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you, my fussy little bun bun. <laughs> so what are you doing here? What brings you all this way? Fuzzy little what? Fuzzy little bun bun? <laughs> laugh anywhere mother <laughs> oh shit wait 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 since when was your mother a weird floating thing and what has me here say aren't you good old Jaja's kid <laughs> I love her already. I say that I do, but you know my father? <sighs> Appearances notwithstanding, it would seem this is my mother, Kafkiwa. Uh, how did she become I'm a robot? Sorry. <laughs> All I ask is a little forewarning, but no. <laughs>
just when I thought I was starting to get a handle on this place. How are things still getting stranger? You get used to it, especially during the Hildebrand quest line. <laughs> I love her already. <laughs> oh my gosh. As far as I can tell, there is no deal over there. I can think of two people in the world that um, could quite, quite the spirit. But as, as to what happened, we need to ask her. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, there's music. But what exactly happened to her anyway? It's so wonderful to meet you all. And the thing about this thing, it's been a while since I heard that, that, that name. Did I say the reason for your appearance? Oh, this? This is the better that I can control remotely. I use this for our, our operations. Huh. We are members of the resistance organization Oblivion. We call, our, um, we call ourselves and our goal is to thwart the world's ambition for conquest. As the leader, it is proven that I remain where I can't, where I can't be easily found. Oh, I see. Musical appearance is not the fun name. This is a serious cause. Right, you are. Though, truth be told, Oblivion was founded for an altogether different purpose. And that is... As I expect you've noticed, everything we see within this realm, the building, the people, and the very earth beneath our feet is a fusion of two worlds. Two worlds, one family. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do that quote. It was right there, man. <laughs> Holy shit, it's smoky outside. Alright, anyways. <laughs> uh, uh, step on. Stepping was stepping such a fusion with the building's original mission. Fortunately, I wasn't, uh... I unfortunately wasn't able to succeed by the look of it. And that doesn't mean that you know who or what is responsible for it? I'm afraid not. It was as long as a uh, time ago as our mission signal more be, um, became more of a legend and passed down to its members. By the time we joined, our sole objective was to stop Soroja. But we failed in that too. And now he's taking his armies outside the dome. Yep, we noticed. Some of you wear those strange devices on your head. Does that have something to do with your work? Oh, you mean this? It's a regulator. The pinnacle of electro electro technology. And that we don't wear is indeed related to our operation. What exactly does it do? Well then, allow me to explain. But as I can see, it basically allows you to be revived and it erases memories of some sort, but... Uh, Geode? Explain, regulators have two primary functions. The first, as the name suggests, is the regulation of the various um, reserves of souls. So, um, should they die, the regulator expends a soul to bring them back to life. Oh. Reserve? You mean people walk around carrying spare souls? They do. Souls are packed themselves, and they can be used to- <laughs> Oh shit, now I'm starting to understand, because remember when we saw earlier with the guard? Not the guard, the, the, mach the mechanical soldier, he had like a little casing in his book? Well, that's actually the people. Oh god, that's dark. Alright. Souls are packed themselves and can be used to replenish the life force that is lost due to sudden death. Such as, it, um, such as an incident, they do nothing for those who die of old age, though. Oh, like the Mika. Distribution of, so, um, of soul cells is based on one's work evaluation to encourage exemplary, per exemplary performance and fulfill their duties. Alright, 
further coming away from it, and payment is um, further than a rendered. The words from practice are consuming of others or their ether come to mind, similar, oh, that too. I expect the same act comes from, from this. Hmm. <laughs> and Papa Lotto, or Chichelino. And then, oh, I was not. They were making a carry on Don Show was not on my, on my bingo list. Hmm. Doesn't it delude your sense of self? Would the consciousness of others corrupt your own? Oh man, I'm so glad they didn't forget about Zero. They knew how popular she was. <laughs> She's definitely coming back for a future expansion, baby! Alright, anyway. But it preserved through memory management is a process in which regulators are superior. Oh, memory management. Oh! What's the reason everyone's forgotten Amika's existence? The regulators are constantly recording the memories of the rare, so that they should suddenly die. The memories can be uh, refreshed as part of the restoration process. This is how they preserve one's identity and so, um, sense of self. However, the regulators are also triggered when someone else, um, else dies. Reason being is that the regulators for forcibly extract memories related to the deceased from anyone wearing one. Why would they do such a thing? It's a kindness bestowed upon the people by every keep core system so that no one has to suffer the pain of loss. Oh, shh. So, what is, uh, so what is meant by their memories being in the cloud? Indeed. You know what? This sounds very Asian like like the ancients. They wish to have a world of bliss and with no suffering. <laughs> and this is basically what what the people of Alexandria are basically experience. Alright, indeed. All memories are deceased and wiped from the minds of the people and archived in the system. With the frightening function of the regulators, an integral step to the full cell production. Hey, it's Aussie! And he dies again. <laughs> you see, when a person dies of natural causes, their soul is temporarily housed within the regulator. It's then delivered into a facility where the memories are, spread f um, are separated from the soul. is a fresh soul cell, free of impurities, ready for distribution and consumption. That guy seems excited. Meanwhile, the memory that's stored in the core system to be remembered forever. So, and this is why people are happy here. On the surface, it's similar to the Yaku philosophy, but it's, I see nothing noble or comforting in it. 
No, there is not nothing noble about that. Well, it doesn't seem so terrible to me personally. All it comes down to is what we're used, um, used to, I suppose. Like the barrier encasing Alexandria, this system was created to overcome the calamity that transformed the world hundreds of years ago. Oh, and it's the morning death toll. Scientists use electrodes to perceive new, to save lives they could and the nation in tow. Oh, I don't know what the last word I didn't read it fully. I understood. Hundreds of people in Alexandria did what they believe was best to save their people. I find it hard to believe Tony Ali would uh, also accept this way of living. It came up to a shock to us as well. In fact, a great many were opposed to it. Which is why the use of regulators was never um, compulsory. The people have always been free to go without them if they so wish. Being didn't strike me as the sort of woman to impose her will on others. Ah, so you already met. She's the one who suggested to come to Thunder Yard in the first place. She also said that she wants to help us stop the world death. Awfully kind of her to point you in the, in, into my direction, and to speak so candidly as well. Whatever her motive, she has given the people a choice. Live with the risk of true death, or the security of the regulators. Hmm. Everything that lives must someday die. That is the natural order of things. Quite right, but however you feel about them, it would be easier to understand what regulators are capable of if you saw it, um, saw it for yourself. And now just the present to show you. As a luck would have it, they should be starting to work right about now. Who are you going to see exactly? Play with me and we'll find out. Definitely gotta come back here if I'm allowed. Couple more missions to go. Uh, hope this one goes by fast. What's the next one? Really want to get to solution nine already, all right? Oh, right here's good. This is the responsibility of the Thunderbird Hunter that saw many teams found running in the area. We need to inquire about mine, Strik um, Strika, as one of the, uh, the three hunters. Back to me, Churchill. Oh, gosh. Where's the damn Aether current press lens when I need them? Okay. 
Castilla, what are you doing here? Don't say anything. Apologies for the attention, but I was hoping you might observe your work. One thing you mean, fine, I guess. Hold on, I've seen you were wearing special regulators like Queen Steam's crown, but they aren't wearing anything at all. It's getting loud. It's much too dangerous to be out here without one. They're stuck by, um, stuck, stuck by lightning or attacked by the beast. What can I show you? They're all quite capable of looking after themselves. If anything, you should go, um, throw a look. I will act, I will take full responsibility. What well, I was say, I don't warn you. Think your side, but they might relate to it. Alright. Castilla said you were a hunter, but it wouldn't be easy with so many chemical soldiers to guard this place. It would, if not for the fact that, um, that they're weak to lightning. But then they are being what it is, they've been ordered to, sh um, to stay clear. Some good, um, some good they are, eh? But the facility is available for to keeping the sick rattles on the protected, blah, blah, blah. Given the dangers, uh, let's hurry this up. Terrible. All right, forgot out, dangers, eat too much, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. Ugh. You can handle yourself, and I'll drive you up to something better for a demonstration. Okay. I'm not sure I understand, but I suppose we should um, each play what we can. Alright. It's hurting us up already. I'm gonna get to solution 9 already. And well. I'm afraid it must be the same to you. Get it. You definitely gotta become a beast master when, the, when that class comes, Garenza. It'll be perfect for it. Play with a low rider now. <laughs> yeah, where to? Alright, there we go. Oh, you want to tussle? Looking for a tussle? I'll give you a down a bit. Took care of him. And there's another one. No. Oh. Oh, how long is it gonna take? I'm gonna do nicely. So I guess we're gonna go see what the regular work. Well, help! That's fine, really. I face worse. Just watch! Alright. Oh! I don't like the look of it! Oh! And Trump is this. She is healing. Oh, 
Well, that's a neat little trick. <laughs> yeah, I'm with all of you guys. <laughs> but that was embarrassing. That bastard caught me off guard. Are you mad? Seriously, let us help. I told you not to worry. It will only take a moment. That's the same trick that the world of you. Holy sh! That was friggin' badass! I like this chick! But, just like Tarija! Come on! Let's get out of here! That's also a function... That's also the function of the regulator. Crazy. Alright, I think I understand how the Roger was able to return from the dead and defeat Papa, but I'm not sure what we saw at the end there. What was that we saw at the end there? As soon as the regular turned red, it was as if you were possessed. The movement became beast like. Don't tell me. You empowered yourself with the soul of a beast. I'm reminded of a Silverton soldier we encountered in Vanguard, who did the exact same. Oh, so your cause path was one of the king's elite. Such a form can only be achieved from bridging yourself on form. You can We could do the same in theory, but it's incredibly dangerous. In fact, it's not as if they allow hunters to carry that many spells to begin with. Well, I should get back to work. Take care. Alright, and there you have it. A regular can be lo loaded with two kinds of souls. But there's a people and there's a beast. Oh my god, imagine loading it with a behemoth. And loading a regulator with a behemoth soul. <laughs> oh shit, you'd be unstoppable. <laughs> I need that in my life. Alright, anyway. Alright, the soul of the people can be used to grant the users pre-natural strength. Naturally, they can also be used to ensure no one suffers an untimely death. And what about the souls of the beast? They work much the same fashion, imbued you with strength and the, of the chosen animal. For example, you shoot and you reap the soul of a wolf, you would grow more agile and full. As you saw with Striker. Even so at the, uh, the same type at one time will rebel in physical changes. Your teeth might become fangs and your nail claws too. And too many and you become more beast like than more beast than man. Changing them form to the souls of other beings. They become more and more reminiscent of Wilson. Yet yeah, unlike Wilson, where the cycle of death and rebirth is simply Simply broken, the souls are thereby forcibly taken before they uh, might re reach their physical seed, different means to achieve similar ends. A cycle to which all within the dome are bounded. This is wrong. This is all wrong. Indeed. 
how to accept being so far removed from our own belief. But more shockingly, that the technology to achieve all this was developed hundreds of years ago. The civilizations and the reflections are surprising indeed. The Earth Firm itself was not kidding. So I've buried somebody else's soul just to keep yourself alive? That's kind of dark. You want to be fool? To make you stronger? Alright. But we have all our thoughts together and as important for what is blah 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 Try to gain an insight into the youth of world in Alexandria. It's shocking to I know. It's I oh, I was overwhelmed myself at first. I expect you I uh, and your move from time to go just it all. But for now, I'll get back to the eastern sky. Alright. There's something I want to discuss with um with everyone. Let's take a moment. Okay. So close to finishing it up. Ah. Okay, we're really going to tell you, but come on. Go fast, go, 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 come on. You got this, buddy. Alright. Alright, I'm sorry for the delay, but I have some thoughts to share. For technologies and value, it's plain there is a white gulf between Tordiola and Alexandria. While the Roger knows everything about us, we know hardly anything about, um, about what he's become. Indeed, he hasn't even seen what lies within the enormous terror ever keep. So here's where I'd like to make a proposal. That is where, uh, well, that is, we work with Kafkia, um, Kafkia and her people. We need to learn as much as we can of the enemy. The quickest way is to join hands with the oblivion. If we were just, um, We've only just met them, but I know we should be uh we shouldn't be too quick to trust. But the fact remains that they share um our desire to stop the Rosa. Scene two, claim the claims be at odds with the King of Revolve. May I ask why you um you would cooperate with the uh, Oblivion instead? Simple really, the leader is Erinbor's mother. Hunda, whatever scene um may feel, she's the ruler of this nation, and there is a great rift in working with her. And, le and less reason to take her on her word. Fair point. And knowing the world, Jaws, we must assume this arrangement with Queen was not made without some consideration. All I know is that we should be hardening to have allies in this strange realm. I think everyone would agree that any help we can get would be welcome. Hold on there. There's no guarantee it's actually my mother behind the machine. Without seeing her in the flesh, we can't rule out the possibility of a ploy. It turns out we are we be trapped, we endanger only ourselves, but everyone in Tudor allow. As we say, we have no proof that it is indeed Kafkia. But I have my proposals um in fully such a rare in this. Whatever going to start, we mean well, and stems we know too little of this problem. We need to remedy that and we need to study the enemy from time good and uh um, evil. What's more? I trust you, Ariva. You've always been a great instinct. Home from your time training under your mother. What if I'm wrong? What is the sentiment of plotting, spreading my judgment? If it's a trap, then I will deal with it, uh, deal with it when it's fine. Hmm. You know what? Ah. Uh. Yeah, this one sounds more like a me answer. Uh, that's all right. That's always the way with it, um, if they're with you. <laughs> Fine. You sit on this. Then I'll say no more. Alright, let me set up. I think I'm trying to kill for being alive. Alright. 
Spirit. Okay, I gotta hurry up. Oh God, I fell before. Sorry. I have a little like that, I got a bit. I don't know. Okay, get me in basic uh, obli oblivion. I'm gonna play return to oblivion. Hey Siri. Oh. Alexa, play return to oblivion. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Okay, there's something I need to tell you of your um of your people. We came here for no other reason than fake um fake soldier. But I thought he was your brother. Do you really mean to kill your own kin? My kin invaded our nation, murdered our people, as thou resolved, it is not pleasant to me to bring him to account. I am prepared to do what I must, and I won't hesitate when the time comes. Like us, we will nerd the pearl Voyager. In light of this, I propose we work together to stop him once and for all. <laughs> Even a little robot is shot. I realize this is sudden, but what I and it's a gamble to trust anyone who's only just met. But I would trust in the conviction of anyone who shared my goal. So stay with me, I beg you. What do you say? I'll go the line. And I bet, and I no doubt your resolve is that I am in the last. If you had any perspective working together, I would have done so instead. Truth be told, it's been going, it's been tough going and get, going at it alone. While we get an ample of intelligence, we don't have strength to take the decisive action. Besides, how could we not trust you? <laughs> My only son is with you. A funny little bun bun. <laughs> He's all the reason I need. <laughs> Imagine getting called out in front of your friends. <laughs> Poor Aaron, bro. Alright. Then he decided. It was a fruitful collaboration. Thank you, Kakia. Everyone, together we achieve things, I'm sure of it. Let's not waste any time. I've been wondering about the old dead whereabouts. Is there a palace inside the tower? After a fashion, the king resides in the upper level, but while the queen's team has a purchase to go in out in public, he seldom shows himself. But no, his movements are highly classified, not even his commanders are privy to that operation. If anyone knows where he is um, at any given moment, it could only be the Queen. Even if we don't know the world about the Roger, um, world about the Roger will eventually march into Turiola again. That's when we can go after him. The drawback is that we have to wait for the invasion to happen. Innocence would be put in harm's way. There's also a possibility that he's already, he's, he'll leave everything to his minions and not command the army in person. <coughs> no, we'll take the field. What makes you feel certain? My brother has always grown to surpass our father, that's why he attacked Toriola. After waiting for 30 years, the first thing he wanted to do was demonstrate his newfound strength. The kill but killing Papa didn't satisfy him. So now he's bent on proving himself stronger than me and Kona, who bested him in the right of succession. He challenged me to strike him down. He wants a duel. So how to show everyone that he is superior to Dante and he won't let any of his minions deprive him of great pleasure. Then why haven't he appeared and given you the chance? Surely he's aware of your presence there. At that, I can only uh, guess. Perhaps he wants to dazzle us with one of his But if he wants his dying to appear, then we'll have to force him to do so. Even as we get intelligent, there's no move to make. Show absolutely no interest in the competition. Knowing him, you're tired of waiting and turn his attention to Conan instead. And attack to your law again. 
like you said he would. I see. The view building is a busy place, and we have no objection. The campaign against Tobio Law requires the Roja to lead his forces to the Vanguard. We should have a lookout to keep an eye on the day, to day and night. Such strategy is simply visible. We will proceed to one that warning outside. Indeed, I need time to prepare for the defenses. Should we get to coordinate the efforts and keep our combat the pre a prey than the developers? You can leave that guard to us. We'll send word of the first sign of movement. It seems we have a plan. Are we ready for the Roger to move? We'll do our best to prepare for battle and begin familiarizing with, with the technology that empowers, that empowers them. At that end, I'll show you Oblivion's native ho headquarters. Alright then, place it through. You'll be impressed to know that we are located right inside the tower, in the residential district of Solution 9. Oh! Hiding a tree in the forest, as it were. The only question is how to get through um, through the checkpoint. I bet that. The queen did make uh, said she make her way that we can enter without issue. She did? Curious. She's not supposed to have such authority over the centuries. Hmm. If I recall correctly, her words were that sh she would get our major stress as guests. I see. Perhaps um, we're in the clear then. So when you're ready, come and meet me in the tower entrance. Now before you head out, give the moment to introduce yourself properly, eh? After all, you and all good to know when we're working together. Ah, uh, fine. Put his arm all over. We're the main crew here. I am Geos, leader of this hideout. Then we're going twin behind me are Nostalgia and the Wayakiwa. Oh damn, they're hot. Alright. I'm Nostalgia, pleasure to meet you. My sister and I were born raised inside the barrier. We've been with Oblivion for three years. Our main duties are civilians and Parahans. And Parahans, twins, eh? Let me explain the resemblance. Wayikwa is a Tontani name. And if I'm mistaken. That's right, our mother is Tuli Tuliolan and our father is Alexandrian. They wanted to honor both cultures. Aww. They're beautiful names. Thank you. Um, though I have no memories of my mother, I'd like to think I carry a part of her with me. Oh, she must have the regulator at some point. So, what made you decide to join a Bolivian? We wanted to avenge our father. Ambrose was his name, and years ago he was taken at away after a scuffle with the soldier over a disagreement. He was a minor, it was a minor incident, so at first we charged um, to the hope that he'd be released, but when months went by and was not worried about him, we made the decision to remove our regulator. We had already left the memories of our mother, and we didn't want to lose those of our father as well. We've all forgotten about him now, everyone who had known him. That bastard. Even here, he thinks nothing of his own people. Sometime later, we were approached by the member of the building, hoping to get justice for our father. We joined the order. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to deck in the mood. No, no, appreciate you sharing. The only way avenge your father. Thank you. Something tells me that you have what it takes. You introduce yourself too. Go on. I'm pretty sure I'm saying sorry for me. Well, mine is Tantawa. It's a, a Tanawan, Tanawan name. I have the I haven't the finest idea what um, what's outside the barrier. It's my dream to go and see it with my own eyes. My mother's homeland. Once peace is restored, you can come and visit. The walls are beautiful and the food's delicious. And everyone is nice. You'll love it. We need all the other in the back room. Oh god, more! I see, um, uh, El, El Pia. One last thing. 
is not exactly what people say, but thank you for um, speaking out, Kaskia. She um, asked her um, about you so much, it's clear how important you are to her. <laughs> Alright, that's not a big deal to be another, eh? Alright. There we go, finally. Thank God. Alright, finally. Well, I love understand by just reaching condition mind. Oh god, there's a fucking. Meanwhile, I never keep. And there we go. And Shadowbringers. Angelic Chorus time. Yeah, of course. Yep, figured. You've been consorting with Wook Lamott. No matter. I do not know what you are scheming. But when your realm lay on the brink, you were powerless. You had no choice but to turn to me. Whatever sentiment you may feel for her, it is my power you require. Is it not? Perhaps. And yet, knowing the love that Wu Glamart bears for her people, how she regards them all as kin, I cannot help but wish to spare her the same pain I have suffered. What's more, her friends possess new knowledge. Were we to work together, we might find another path. It, but is there no hope for peace with Jamilnov? What we've already done may be unforgivable, but it needn't continue. You needn't kill your brother and sister. <laughs> I slew my only flesh and blood. Yet you attempt to sway me with an appeal to family. My father's final moments still fills me with disappointment. Age came for him before I did. For long years, I sought to prove the miracle. And weak as he was, defeating him achieved nothing. To kill them is my only recourse. Wuklamat and Kona who bested him as he was in his prime. They are still your siblings, even if not by blood. But such bonds should mean so little to you. I am bound to no one. Serve none save myself. I made that clear when first you spoke to me in the Golden City. Remember, I can easily kill your beloved family. If you would protect them, cast aside any foolish notions. Your wisdom and abilities are valuable insofar as Argos align. So think well before you act, Queen of Reason. father's worthy successor, then you will find your way to me. But should you fall short, I will lay waste to Tuli Yolal. What now? Oh, the world just really just feels like a one-dimensional villain. Oh, he's with weak solution, man. 
Right, the guild ready. Head here over to the tower. Oh, wait two of them, okay. I need four more, I need two more uh, to unlock. Alright, uh, yeah, that's it. I guess I'll do those offline. Uh, anyways, let's finish up. Let's reach solution nine and then we'll wrap up the stream. I'm sorry. They're all just very much a one dimensional villain. Like, I'm trying not to compare them to the villains of the past, especially with. With MXL, but come on. Like, you could have done more. Alright. Ah, there you are. If Queen's Beam has registered you as dead, you should be able to march right in. And if she hasn't, and we may have uh, some of the legend minions to deal with. <laughs> Alright. Nothing for it, but see if you have the trade off, huh? Nothing for it, but to see if you have the trade off. Okay, go add it. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for the diligent service, friends. My companion and I would like to pass on if you're first time. I will um, um, guide when you're identified. Registration number verified. Thanks for coming in for only identified. Verifying credential. Alright. So thank you for all. Welcome, guest of Queen Spoon. Yeah, what a relief. Alright. There you have it. Since the queen um, is true to her word. Hello, everyone. Solution 9 awaits. Oh, finally. Alright, let's see what Solution 9 is all about, eh? Oh shit, did I actually pee? <laughs> Yo! Oh, look at this! A tower of electro piercing a perpetual shroud of storm clouds. Holy shit, this is cyberpunk as Occupying the ninth level of this 12-tiered structure is a residential district called Solution 9. In so naming their home, what hopes did its founders harbor for it? And did it prove the answer they sought? Yo, look at this place! Oh, it's not gonna be going wild with... I can absolutely see g is going wild with this. Amazing, look at this. Oh my god, I still can't believe this is Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> Spectacular, isn't it? There are more districts throughout the tower, including industrial ones, but Solution 9 is the largest. Just being here makes my head spin. Oh god, she's in the back room. I believe Lynn's experiences are far more educational than dry explanations. 
Alright, alright. Do you want to know more about Stevens, Doral, just the minion, do you not? You had to be an explorer. <laughs> you don't know, there's no other answer. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd be keen. <laughs> you think? Look at this place. Just to confirm, while we have been allowed inside, are we also permitted to roam? Absolutely! As Fiend's registered guest, you'll find you're exempt from the sentry scrutiny. Ah, the elevator to the uppermost level. I wouldn't go near that. But other errors should be fine provided you act like you belong. <laughs> Well, I need to just right, then. We'll show ourselves around. Well, if I'm gonna yes. need to act like a balloon. Familiarizing ourselves with the technology here will help us prepare for the battles to come. Try not to enjoy yourselves too much, or you're liable to attract attention. Once you've explored to your satisfaction, come to the entrance to True View in the Eastern Sector. The way from there is a little complicated, so I'll send someone to guide you. Understood. We'll see you later. <laughs> I shall right. speak with the residents. Perhaps one of them will recognize the earring. Probably not if your parents are dead, considering they like the men leaving them. So. With this place, how can this all be the inside of a tower? So, what aren't you telling me? Where are you? That, I can't reveal yet. Precautions, you understand? Just know that I'm safe. But come. Your adventurer friend. You seem to have a great deal of faith in him. You must have been through a lot together. You might say that. For instance, we found the entrance to the Golden City. <laughs> Wait, what? You <laughs> I love her too, the end so much. Um, you want to explore together? It's not that I'm scared or anything. Everything is just so different from home is all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come along. I'll hold your hand, Lamachi. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Uh, anyway. Alright, we're gonna continue this adventure with Rick Lamont next episode because, well, ooh! Dawn of a new deal? Hmm. Wonder what's that? Anyway, well, like I said, uh, we'll have to explore for later, but anyway, hang on, let me give me a moment. Uh, hang on, we gotta blend in. So I got the hat. Here we go. Oh shit, wrong one. Ah, oh, there we go. Do I got boots? No, I don't got boots. Okay. Well, uh, something, something I gotta change for later. Okay, we're blending in. Alright, up into relation now. Got it? Alright, uh, anyway. Uh, we'll have to do this exploring next episode because holy shit. Oh my god. God, oh my god, I'm loving this place already. Holy sh... Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so I gotta wrap up the stream because I gotta go to work. Because uh, otherwise I'm gonna be late. 
because I'm, I should have ended with a lot sooner, but uh, yeah, I wanted to get here as fast as I can. Uh, anyway, I can follow you on my social Twitter, X handle that like a keyboard still works, um, backup blue star account, which is like a studio, backup backup, insta slash twitter, which is official, which still works, it's still like a studio, and I have a vlog channel, which is right like a studio. Wow, that's a capital V O D in the lowercase case that. Thanks for coming to my stream, I hope to see you again real soon. Later, later, bye.